don't think my dad passed away or lost his battle to cancer. I don't. I definitely do not believe he lost his battle to cancer. I think that his body sir came to it, but he he beat that thing from start to finish. There was no doubt about it. If his body would have held up, he would have kept going. And it came, it came back to his mindset in terms of, this is not going to defeat me. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to roll with the punches and see what happens. And all he wanted was a chance. He got one, and he, he took the best shot he had. Dan Peters was a beloved figure across the basketball world, a high school coach, college assistant, and then a college head coach, first at Walsh University, then at Youngstown State. His perspective and experiences stretched so far, it's just even hard to, to put into words, from a small college, Walsh College, when he was there with Coach Huggins, to national championship game at Ohio State. Peters died in October, following a year-long battle with pancreatic cancer. He was 60 years old, and in many ways, an inspiration to many people, his son Danny included. I took a point of pride in it. I said, you know, that's my dad. I'm, I want to talk about him. I, uh, I'm happy to say that I'm, that's my father. You know, it's besides losing a parent, he was my best friend. He was, um, he was my mentor. He was my hero. So to say that you just lost a parent is an understatement. There are four or five holes in my personal life that I don't have the access to anymore or the feedback from. Uh, when someone passes away, it doesn't end your relationship with them. And my relationship hasn't ended. I am a direct reflection of him. I am pretty much him at, at just repeat, I guess, <laughs> 2.0, I would like to say. I hope I am at least, but um, you know, he's always with me. To say it's just a pair, that's, that's not enough for what we had our relationship for sure. Peters will be remembered Tuesday night in Akron when the Cardinals play at James A. Rhodes Arena. His final stop coaching was at Akron, and the Zips helped raise awareness for Pete's fight, for Pete's sake, with a purple out, an event in his memory in 2015. It's going to be tough. It's, it's definitely going to be tough, and I'm excited to see whose bench he's sitting on that night and where his loyalty lies, but I think we'll be all right.